Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot common footnote and endnote issues on a Windows MS Word. Footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word are useful for adding references and additional information. However, they can sometimes present issues. Here are some common problems and their solutions. Number one, footnotes, endnotes not appearing correctly. Footnotes or endnotes are not appearing in the correct location or they are missing entirely from the document. Solution. Ensure they are enabled. Navigate to the Reference tab in the ribbon at the top of Microsoft Word. Verify you have properly inserted footnotes or endnotes by selecting the appropriate option from the footnotes group. Double check that you have not accidentally disabled or skipped the insertion of footnotes or endnotes in the desired locations. Check the formatting. Footnotes and endnotes may become hidden or improperly displayed if there are issues with text formatting. To resolve this, Select all the text in the document by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then reset the formatting by pressing Ctrl plus Space. This action will clear any hidden formatting that might be causing the footnotes or endnotes to be obscured. Inspect section breaks. Section breaks within your document can impact the placement and visibility of footnotes and endnotes. Stop in your document for any unexpected or improperly placed section breaks by going to the Layout tab and selecting Breaks. Remove or adjust section breaks as necessary to ensure that footnotes and endnotes appear correctly. View all formatting marks. Hidden formatting marks can sometimes cause issues with the display of footnotes and endnotes. To reveal these marks, click the Show Hide button in the Home tab. This action will display all formatting marks, allowing you to identify and resolve any hidden elements that might be affecting your footnotes and endnotes. Number 2. Footnotes or endnotes numbering incorrectly. The numbering of footnotes or endnotes is restarting unexpectedly or not following the correct sequential order throughout the document. Solution Numbering options To ensure that footnotes or endnotes are numbered continuously, go to the References tab, click on the small arrow in the bottom right corner of the footnotes group to open the Footnote and Endnote dialog box. In the dialog box, check the numbering options, make sure that Continuous is selected to maintain a continuous numbering sequence throughout the document. This setting ensures that footnotes and endnotes are numbered sequentially from the beginning to the end of the document without restarting. Restarting at each section If you notice that the numbering of footnotes or endnotes restarts at each section of your document, it is likely due to the settings for section-specific numbering. To correct this, go to the References tab and then click on the small arrow in the bottom right corner of the footnotes group to open the footnote and endnote dialog box. Within this dialog box, Find the numbering section and change the setting from Restart Each Section to Continuous. This adjustment will ensure that the numbering of footnotes or endnotes does not restart with each new section and instead follows a continuous sequence throughout the entire document. Number 3. Footnotes or endnotes overlapping with text. Footnotes or endnotes are overlapping with the main text, causing readability issues and a cluttered appearance. Solution. Adjust spacing. To ensure there is enough space between the main text and footnotes or endnotes, Right-click on the footnote or endnote text and select Paragraph from the context menu. In the Paragraph dialog box, adjust the spacing before and after the text. Increasing the spacing can help create a clear separation between the footnotes or endnotes and the main text, preventing any overlap. Check Page Layout The page layout settings of your document play a crucial role in how footnotes and endnotes are displayed. Go to the Layout tab, then select Margins. Adjust the margins to provide sufficient space for footnotes or endnotes at the bottom of the page. Wider margins can help prevent the footnotes or endnotes from encroaching into the main text area. Resize the footnote separator. The footnote separator line can sometimes be too long or too short, causing footnotes to be pushed too close to the main text. To adjust the separator, switch to Draft View by going to the View tab and selecting Draft, then go to References, Show Notes to display the footnotes in the Draft View. From the drop-down menu that appears, select Footnote Separator. You can then resize the separator line or delete it if it is unnecessary. This adjustment can help maintain a clear distinction between the footnotes and the main text. Number 4. Footnotes and endnotes not converting properly. Converting footnotes to endnotes or vice versa does not work correctly, resulting in formatting issues or incomplete conversions. Solution. Convert individually. If the bulk conversion of footnotes to endnotes or vice versa is not working properly, try converting them one by one. To do this, select each footnote or endnote manually. Go to the References tab, then click Footnotes and choose Convert to Footnote or Convert to Endnote as needed. This method ensures that each conversion is done accurately 
and avoids potential errors that may occur during batch conversions. Check document compatibility. Ensure that your document format supports the conversion of footnotes and endnotes. Older file formats might not handle these conversions well. Save your document in the latest Microsoft Word or .docx if it is not already in this format. To do this, go to File, Save Us, and choose the .docx format from the drop-down menu. This ensures that you are using a format that fully supports all of Word's features, including the conversion of footnotes and endnotes. Number 5. Footnotes or endnotes not updating. Changes made to footnotes or endnotes are not reflecting in the document, resulting in outdated or incorrect information. Solution. Update fields. To ensure that all footnotes and endnotes are up to date, select all text in the document by pressing Ctrl plus A, then press F9 to update all fields. This action will refresh the document and incorporate any changes made to the footnotes or endnotes, ensuring that the latest information is displayed. Check for broken links. If your footnotes or endnotes contain links to external sources, broken links can prevent updates from reflecting properly. Review each footnote and endnote to ensure that all links are active and correct. Update or remove any broken links as needed. This can be done by right-clicking on the hyperlink and selecting Edit Hyperlink to update it or remove hyperlink to delete it. Number 6. Customizing footnotes or endnotes. You want to customize the appearance or format of footnotes or endnotes to better match your document style. Solution. Modify styles. To change the font, size, color, and other formatting options of your footnotes or endnotes, go to the Home tab and click on Styles. In the Styles pane, find Footnote Text or Endnote Text, right-click on it, and select Modify. In the Modify Style dialog box, you can customize the appearance by selecting New Font Styles, Sizes, Colors, and other formatting options. Apply the changes to ensure that all footnotes or endnotes in your document adhere to the new style. Change Position to alter the location of footnotes and endnotes, go to the Reference tab and click on the small arrow in the bottom right corner of the Footnotes group to open the Footnote and Endnote dialog box. Here, you can choose the location of footnotes and endnotes. For footnotes, you can select either bottom of page or below text. And for endnotes, you can choose to place them at the end of document or end of section. Adjust these settings to position your footnotes or endnotes as desired. And that's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, Please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.